Welcome along to South Today Sport and a chance to catch up again with Sir Peter Leach, always on for a chat when visiting these parts. It's uh, it's great to be back in Southland. I've got a, as you know, I've got a soft spot for Southland, Tom, and uh, it's always nice to come back. Back here for a bit of business this time, doing a speech at the old Ascot. But gee, what a bonus it's been for me because I had breakfast with the manager this morning, and he said, Peter, and he's been a friend of mine for a long time. He said, you've opened up the museum, and I said, yes, and you're going to be up. There's going to be an exclusive show on CTV. You'll be able to watch very soon. And he said, well, I've got something for the museum, and he gave me this shirt. It's fantastic, with the numbered uh, signatures yeah. too, matching the players. And he also gave me a pair of Romanian shorts. And the thing is, what he didn't know is we're actually right now setting up a Rugby World Cup room at the museum. Mm. And of course, then my old mate Jimmy Cowan rang me and asked me to go out and have a look at this house. And he's given me some great stuff for the museum. Like, this is his training jersey, you know? Now, what I didn't know, and you may not know, with the All Blacks, they labelled all of the p- individual players' gear as labelled. Jimmy Cowan. So it doesn't get mixed up in the wash. Yeah, yeah, great stuff. But no, look, things are looking good, and uh, Southland is looking extremely well, to be fair. I, uh, it's, it's a great place, and uh, it's good to be home. You didn't leave uh, Jimmy's home uh, empty-handed either for yourself. You're very well uh, turned out today. Well, to be fair, Jimmy gave me a lot of stuff, and I, I can just show you yes, here. Uh, he gave me a signed uh, ball. Now, let me tell you a story about this, Jim. He had to buy the balls, he brought the balls, and he got a few done for charities. And he's given most... It's no good ringing them out because he's given them away, but he's given them uh, to quite a few charities. But he kept that one for the museum. But he's given me... Uh, uh, this is uh, another training shirt. Uh, this is a shirt from uh, 2008. Um, yeah, and so, you know, look, a pair of his all-black shorts. Fantastic. He's a, look, he's a, he's a wonderful young man. And, uh, yeah, very, 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 very pleased to call him a friend, to be fair. And something special for yourself that you were Well, yeah. he gave me this, and I said, that will go in the museum, Jimmy. He said, no, no. He said, that... I want you to wear I want you to keep it and wear it. So hence, I'll be wearing this around. And You know, the World Cup has been fantastic for New Zealand. Uh, I know you didn't get a lot of the big action down here, but certainly in Auckland, it was the town was fizzing, you know. To catch a ferry from my home to town, mate, if you didn't get there two hour, an hour before the ferry was due to start, you never got on it, you know. Uh, everyone, everyone brought into it. And at the time, Tom... When we needed to unite as people, you know, you've got the earthquake, you've got the, the Pike River, you've got the, the, the oil slick and all this. It's really just, it's, it's been a great thing. And I, I love the big sign down opposite the Ascot, welcome to the different teams that were down here. You know what I mean? Um, was it good down here? Oh, it was excellent. And I think all the provinces... Um uh, welcomed it as, as heartily as, yeah. as the big cities. Uh, huge crowds and, and they really joined in on the fun. Yeah, it, 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 it's been great for New Zealand. It, it's, it really has. And I, Look, you know, the, the league players are playing over there in the UK now and I, I'm not fizzing about it because I'm still on a high from the mm. Rugby World Cup. Mm. I went to a couple of games and, you know, they they done it well. It was the, the, the volunteers were outstanding. Mm. You know, they're talking about knighting people. I reckon they should pick one. They should put all the volunteers' names in the hat and pick one and knight that person because I thought the volunteers done a great job, particularly in Auckland where I experienced them. They, you know, and you had all different races. You know, you had Chinese, you had all sorts of people, Indians, yeah, and all as one. I, I really think that the, the, the 2011 Rugby World Cup will go down as a great moment in New Zealand history. Not that the fact that we won the game... But what it's done for the country, it really has brought out pride. And we don't think, I don't think we have enough pride in our town. And I know I had dinner with Graham Henry on Waiheke Island last Sunday night. And uh, he really felt, you know, that, that the parades and that, that the buzz that was there was fantastic. And, you know, he, he said how disappointed people were in Invercargill and Dunedin. They wanted parades and... He said, Butch, he said, we've just paraded out, you know, by the end of the day. And they wanted to go home to their families. Do you think those volunteers will now stay on and get back into sport? Because they've been sort of fading out of the background, haven't they? Uh, I don't know. I think the World Cup was such a unique event. Uh, The greatest gift anyone can give is their time. And they gave their time very freely. 
Um, but it was a special event, you know. It was. It brought, to be fair, it brought the best out of people. It really did. And and for your viewers, when you went to a game, it wasn't just what was inside the stadium. It was what was happening around the perimeter, mate. There was street theatre and all this. And to be fair, I could have stayed out there all night watching that. There were some great acts. You know, I mean, incredible. You know, I suppose you'd call them buskers. You know, but yeah, really, really great. And. Uh, you know, you'd go to the bars and it, it, there was a real fizz about it. And certainly speaking to Jimmy, because Jimmy Cowan was very disappointed he never got into the team. And I was disappointed for him. But we all were, Dan. Yeah, yeah, you know, but the coaches have to make the decisions they think are right. And that's hard. I mean, I remember uh, Graham Henry and the manager telling me one day how hard it was to drop Tom Tomley from the squad. You know, another good Southern man. Actually, brought and wrote a rumor to be fair, but that's another issue. Been here long enough. Yeah, exactly. Um, and how hard that decision was, you know, how he was well respected, but they just felt they had to, you know. And that's what you got to do when you when you're in the in the main chair, you know. But uh, Jimmy, I said to him, Jimmy, you are still part of history, and you'll still get the bonus check. <laughs> uh, looking at, at Forsyth by a stadium, you didn't get to a game there, but you've got to make that high on your list, Pete, because that's an experience. Yeah, yeah, look, and I, I, I'm a bit disappointed because my old mate David, my nay down here, got me a couple of tickets to go and see um, Elton John there. But you wouldn't believe it, I've got to sell those tickets now. So if anyone wants to go, platinum tickets are only $400 each. Great seats. I've uh, been asked to go to an event in Christchurch, a fundraiser, mm -hmm. and I thought, do I go and please myself or do I go and support Christchurch? And I'll go and support Christchurch because Christchurch still needs a lot of love and care. Mm. Um, I was with people from Christchurch uh, the day before yesterday and they're still hurting big time. And so, you know, we've got to give them as much love and support as we can. And so I put my hand up and said, no, I won't go. And I was really looking, because I think Elton John's a magnificent entertainer, but I'll go and I'll support the charity thing. So, so if anyone's looking for a... Uh, couple of uh, tickets, platinum and tickets, $400. I'm not going to discount them. If you want them, you pay, or I'll give them away eventually. Um, just ring CQTV yep. and uh, they'll give you my number. Yeah. Just talk about the rugby league for a moment, because you will be following the Four Nations. Yeah. Um, do you like the way they're progressing? Good win against Wales, uh, setting themselves up for the uh, game against England. I was disappointed with the performance against Wales. The first half was good. Second half, they dropped the ball. Quite frankly, if they don't pick the piece up, Pace up, I think England could beat them this weekend. I think England showed a lot of improvement against the Australians. They only lost because they didn't value the possession of the ball. They coughed the ball up too often. If they can retain the ball, mate, they've got a good show against New Zealand, to be fair. New Zealand has to pick the pace up. We can't live on our laurels. We may be the world champions, but that means nothing now. We have to win games, you know? So, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, Sunday morning, uh, I think, 7 o'clock, yeah. What about your health? I mean, you're wearing the jacket of a finely tuned athlete and it fits, so it must be pretty good. Uh, it makes, look, I'm feeling the best I've felt for a long time. I've got a bit of movement back in my knee, uh, the cancer's in remission, and uh, a well-known broadcaster, Leighton Smith, said to me the other day, I'm looking the best he's seen me look for two years. So, yeah, look, I'm feeling good. And look, every day is a blessing when you wake up, you're alive, and that's the one thing you learn when you've been sick. And there's a lot of people out there like me. You know, there's a lot of people out there, you know, suffering. And, uh, you know, I wish them all the best, all those people. And, you know, it's, we just lost a great boxer, you know, yeah. one of the best. I'm a great boxing fan, and to lose Joe Frazier... You know, as tough as he was, the cancer got him, you know, and uh, very quickly, you know. So, uh, and we lost a politician this week, you know. So, um, yeah, look, every day you wake up, it's a bonus. And uh, people say to me, you're going to slow down. Why would you want to slow down? You never know when you're going. So you want to cramp as much as you can, you know. That's no, all good. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.